in this segment we will be learning what is cross elasticity of demand now as we have learned in the earlier videos that price elasticity is the responsiveness of demand to a change in price income elasticity is the degree of responsiveness of demand to a change in income what do you think will be the cross elasticity of demand cross elasticity of demand is the degree of it is the degree of responsiveness of what of demand to what to a change in the price of related goods price elasticity is the degree of responsiveness of demand to a change in the price of the same good that is the good that is being considered however in cross elasticity we measure the degree of responsiveness of demand to a change in the price of related good and not that particular good we here we are considered with related good related goods are of two types first is complements the other is substitutes so in cross elasticity we have two types of elasticity first is the cross elasticity of a substitute second is cross elasticity of complement now what is the formula of calculating cross elasticity the formula for calculating cross elasticity of demand is almost similar to that of price elasticity in price elasticity in numerator we take percentage change in quantity demanded here also we take the percentage change of quantity demanded but please note that here we are considering two goods first is the good that is being considered second is the related good related product so a change in the quantity demanded of the good will be taken in the numerator we will take the considered good in numerator we take the percentage change in quantity demanded of the considered good whereas in the denominator we take a percentage change in the price of a related good this b is a related good it may be a substitute or it may be a complement so the important thing to note here is a change in demand of one product is based upon a change in the price of some other product that other product may be a substitute or it may be a complement however the relation between the price of the related good and the demand for the good being considered may be direct or indirect depending upon the nature of the related good now if the related good is a substitute the relation will be direct the relation will be direct in case of a substitute however the relation will be inverse in case of a complement which means an increase in price of a substitute will lead to an increase in demand of the good being considered therefore we have a direct relationship and in this case an increase in price of a complement will lead to a fall in demand of the good being considered like price elasticity we also have one other formula for calculating the cross elasticity which is change in quantity demanded of 
गुड ए डिवाइडेड बाय द ओरिजिनल क्वांटिटी ऑफ गुड ए इनटू प्राइस ऑफ द रिलेटेड गुड दैट इज गुड बी डिवाइडेड बाय द चेंज इन प्राइस ऑफ रिलेटेड गुड दैट इज गुड बी now we have already discussed that the relation between the price of a substitute and the demand for the goods being considered is direct so how do you think the demand curve will look like the demand curve would be upward sloping from left to right let's see how here we have considered two goods t and coffee now these two goods are almost perfect substitutes for each other now what is happening is the m quantity of t is being consumed at t price of coffee when coffee is at price p m quantity of t is being consumed so we get a point here let's name this point as a now what will happen when the price of coffee will increase let's say it reaches p1 now if the price of coffee will increase people who are consuming coffee will shift to t and what will happen as a result is the consumption of t will increase it will reach to m1 and in this case we'll reach to point b so if we try to connect these two points we'll get a straight line which slopes upward which slopes upward from left to right it goes from left to right but slopes upward it is exactly similar to the supply curve and it is upward sloping from left to right because there exists a direct relation there exists a direct relation between the quantity of t and the price of coffee that t and coffee are substitutes thus we get an upward sloping curve which slopes from left to right now let's see how the demand curve looks on the graph for complementary goods for complementary goods the demand curve is downward sloping it slopes downward from left to right now why does it slope downward from left to right like a normal demand curve let's see we have taken two complementary goods that is ink and pen ink has its demand derived from pen ink is a good which derives demand from pen so we call the demand of ink as derived demand that means more the number of pens will be consumed more would be the consumption of ink and less number of pens will lead to less consumption of ink so let's see why this curve gets a downward slope now we are consuming m quantity of ink at p price of pen when pen is priced at p we need m quantities of ink now what happens is the price of pen falls it reaches to p1 at p1 what happens is the consumption of pen increases because the price of pen has fallen so as a result the consumption of pen will increase and since the consumption of pen increases the quantity of 
ink also increases because for more pens you require more inks so now we can relate the two things inversely we can say when the price of pen falls the quantity consumption of ink will increase and thus earlier we were at this point now we are at this point so if we join the two dots we get a line and if we extrapolate it we get a curve which we call demand curve so demand curve in this case would be downward sloping from left to right 